I love my fresh veggies and leafy greens. And over the last couple of years, I've really increased my intake, and I'm sure you'll agree that the results speak for themselves. I've lost 11 kilos in the last 12 months, and one of the secrets is lots of veggies and leafy greens, and there's no better way to get them into your diet than by growing your own. I'm building a favourite landscape project of mine, a raised veggie garden. I love these because they bring so much goodness into our lives and are fairly simple to put together. Perfect for a simpleton such as myself. What helps to complete this project and make it more easily built are these retain it posts that I'm using that are specifically designed for use with treated pine sleepers. I'm building a smallish veggie garden, 1.5 by 1.5 metres. Once you've chosen a sunny position, it's time to set out for the posts. I've cut my sleepers to size and I'm laying them out in a square with the retainer posts to help with the post position. Mark the post holes and then dig them. Dig with plenty of room around the post for adjustments and adequate concrete to give strength. Put the posts in the holes with the sleepers slotted in. So now the sleepers are all level, the posts are all plumb, and the tops of the sleepers and posts are all flush, which is the look that we're after. I can put the rest of the concrete in around the base of the posts, and the whole job will be level and strong. And you'll notice there are no screws with this system, which saves time and money, and there's just enough play in these posts that you can make all those little tweaks and adjustments, which makes the job so much easier. The sleepers are ACQ treated pine, which are good for contact structures like this. To work out how much soil you need is a simple volume calculation, length times width times height. To take your veggie garden to the next level, you can use these veggie panels very handy to grow things like your peas or other climbing crops. You can make a wall at the back here. You can do any shape you like, including a tomato frame. I've got two there. And they just sort of connect with these loops and hooks. You can plant your tomato in the middle, then you've got a frame to attach it to, and whooshka, up she comes. You'll be eating tomatoes for Australia. Well, look at that, folks, a beautiful collection of fresh produce. I've got my lettuce, parsley, strawberries, chilies. I tell you what, you mix all those together and you're gonna have quite the dish.